Hi everyone and welcome back. I'm filming the moon. In this morning will be conjunction between the moon and planet Mars. I'm using the GSO 2 times Barlow and my Nikon D7200 camera with a 50mm extender from GSO. The GSO extension tube it is much better than the one that I have from TS. We have here my video with the moon and you can see with my Skywatcher ED86 600mm focal length and with the 2 times Barlow from GSO I have all the moon in the frame. Comparing the field of view in Stellarium I've noticed that 2 times Barlow acted like a 3 times Barlow. On using here 3 times Barlow you, we have the same field of view. So I had less resolution by mistake. Now I'm recording again using the GSO Barlow, 2 times Barlow, but I think it's acting like 2.5 with my small telescope Skywatcher ED80. It's uh, small for planets, but with if I use the ZW camera, we'll get a much larger image. So here we have Mars with my DSLR in crop mode. It's very close with the moon. But I cannot see it yet in a single frame using the reducer. So finally I can film the conjunction with the Moon and planet Mars. Let's see the time. 6 and 33 minutes. So I took out the, the GSO 2 times Barlow and now I'm recording only with my Skywatcher ED80, 600mm focal length and my Nikon the 7200 and soon I will try in chrome mode and a little bit later I will try in my ZW camera. We can see on September 6 in the morning how they are getting closer and closer. Let's change to equatorial mount. I will increase the speed. So we are at 23 p.m. in 5 September and now we'll increase the speed even more. We are now at 00, zero and we are at in 6 September and they are getting closer and closer. If I will zoom in, you can see. So here we are in the morning at 4 a.m. Now 5 a.m. and in this period from 5 to 7 I captured them with my DSLR and my telescope in the field of view. So let's stop here. About 9 a.m. in the morning. This is the closest position that I noticed in Stellarium. I used here the my Nikon D7 200 with two times Barlow Skywatcher ED80 to capture the moon. I wanted to do the same for Mars and Moon. First, I managed to capture without the without the Barlow. So this is the field of view of my Nikon camera without the Barlow, and here we'll have my ZW camera with the Barlow. So using the Barlow I could get something like this with Mars and Moon. My intent was to capture a close-up with the Moon and Mars and unfortunately I had fog and I could not capture them very close like this. I decided to make a composite video and I placed them together like here about 9 a.m. in the morning. Let's see this beautiful video with the Moon and Planet Mars.